I'd always been interested in sailboats, but never thought about the possibility of participating as a crew or a helms person on the boat. Then I came down to the center and I sailed and I was immediately hooked. Getting on the boat, getting out into the lake, you get the breeze, it's great. You don't want to come back. It's allowed me to do a lot of things that I didn't think I was going to be able to do and it's really something I look forward to every year. The Judd Goldman Adaptive Sailing Program was named in memory of my father. In 1989, we had a discussion about starting a program to teach people with disabilities how to sail. When he was a teenager, he had a bone infection. He could not play baseball, football, basketball like other people, and that's when he learned to sail. So when we talked about starting a program for people with physical disabilities, we thought, what a great idea for Chicago. I've lived in Chicago for 12 years now. Uh, I don't know anyone who owns a boat. I don't own a boat. And a program like this provides people with and without physical disabilities the same opportunity to really explore something that they may really enjoy. My father passed away in 1989. The program began in 1990 with three boats built especially for people with physical disabilities. The Judd Goldman Adaptive Sailing Program is one of the first adaptive sailing programs in the country. It's still one of the biggest. The program has a little over 30 boats altogether, and we do, for the adaptive program, somewhere close to a thousand people a year. We have a number of participants who are visually impaired, participants who are in wheelchairs and have MS and cerebral palsy and spina bifida, a lot of birth defects and spinal cord injuries, traumatic brain injuries. Back in 2000, the program opened up in the Chicago Park District and the Lagoons as well. And it's a great addition to the program. It's primarily for at-risk youth to get out on the water and again experience the sport that they might not have an opportunity to do otherwise. The Park District uh, oversees the infrastructure and the Goldman Foundation brings resources in terms of sailing vessels and support and repairs of the boats and sailing staff. For so many individuals who have never even dreamed of this kind of opportunity. Most of the people that come into the program have never sailed before in their life. This is my ninth season with the program. I suffered a stroke in 2006 and my wife said, well I think you should do that. And I'm like, what are you crazy? I can't even walk and you want me to get on a sailboat? But we came out, took my first sailing lesson and been back ever since. I've been with this program since right after I lost my leg. I was 27, I was really depressed. So sailing actually opened me back up to like a piece of myself that wasn't there for a while. And that's part of the beauty of it because when you go out there, you do forget about your disability. I think my father would be very excited to know that this program exists. 20% of the population in this country have disabilities. I have no doubt that it's changed my life. I'm visually impaired and you know, no one would ever allow me to drive their car. But sailing allows me to be freed up enough that I can helm the boat or I can crew. It's an equalizer. I and mean, once they get into the program, they usually like to get into the racing program. I had my years as a participant, learned how to race and had a lot of fun. And I thought that after I got my instructor certification, I could teach other people how much fun sailing can be, even though you're a disabled person. And it's great that I can pass that on. We have some great volunteers that come out and help us. We also have an instructor and an able-bodied person on the boat with us. We really try to interact with our participants to find out what they need to make life easier for them. The first thing was getting on and off the boat. I, I didn't know how that was going to be accomplished, but actually that was a very easy process. The transfer box is basically a little box that has a slide, and we can maneuver that into the proper position so that it allows the person, either assisted or unassisted, to get out of their chair and essentially slide into the boat. They had a lot of things figured out that I was questioning, is this going to be difficult? And it really wasn't. And I think that's kind of the exciting thing about a program like this. We've got a lot of equipment that we can change in and change out. We've got a system where you can just move your hands back and forth and steer the boat. We have systems so that people can steer with their feet. And as we go along, we keep developing new ones. One of the, the biggest adaptations are the seats. Within the seat are the lap belt and the shoulder straps. They make it safe for someone who's disabled and doesn't have a lot of trunk control to go out and feel comfortable so that they can just focus on learning and sailing the boat. 
The main boat that we use, called the Freedom 20, is specially designed to be extremely stable. It has an 880-pound keel that helps keep the boat from tipping. It's very safe. It will tip, but it won't tip over. I think we have proven over the years that there are no limitations for people with disabilities, but there's still more to do. There are many people out there that still need to know that there's a program like this that exists. It frees your spirit. It makes you feel good when you're out on the water. You can choose anywhere you want to go and just kind of adjust your sails and go. And I think that's kind of what life's all about sometimes when you have a disability that's thrust upon you. You still have to adjust your sails and keep going. It's a wonderful feeling to see all these people find a sport like sailing that they never envisioned that they could ever do. If I could sail every day, I'd sail every day. I am totally, totally invested in sailing and grateful for the Judd Goldman program. It has brought zest and energy into my life when I didn't know I could have that again.